Kilmersh School is a comprehensive school on the outskirts of Reading. There's about 1,100 students here. It's a wonderful school and we've worked really hard in the last couple of years um, to carry on improving um, the school and the image it has in the local community. When you think of a school choir, you normally think of private schools. We're not a private school, we're a state, open entry, inclusive school. And we sing as well as anybody else and it's very important that we show that. The choir was set up two and a half years ago by music and maths teacher Sarah. I realised there was quite a few talented uh, kids in the school who could sing and thought we could put together a gospel-esque choir and um, enter a local competition. Miss Lant came running in in a normal style, all overexcited, and said, I found a choir competition I want to join. And Miss Lant says everything's so excitable and so in your face that really there's no choice to say no. So I was in the rehearsal that afternoon, I think. So. They've had a meteoric rise, winning awards in national competitions, but it's performing in the local community that's had the most impact on the school. Especially when we started, uh, the Bournemouth School didn't have the greatest reputations. When they said, oh, a group of Bournemouth kids are going to get on stage and sing, <laughs> it was like, oh my God, this is going to be another <laughs> long one to listen to. When they hear the kids, they realise the amount of dedication and pride that they've got in their school. It doesn't feel like school when we're doing this. It feels like we're all a group of friends singing in a choir. Got a brand new warm-up for you today. <gasps> many men, many men, many men, 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 many men, many men. In the week since the sing-off, the choir has been preparing for Gareth's visit. I'm at the Bulmush School for the first time since I put them through. Now it's time to knuckle down and I want to make changes to the group and make suggestions. And I, I'm going to talk to Sarah about how they'll deal with that. Because she's their teacher, she knows them well. I want them to really stand a chance in the contest and there's a bit of work ahead before they're ready. The last question, crucially... Oh, hello! Good afternoon. Would you like to come in and join our maths lesson? We've got a little bit of an indices rap going on that we remember. When you times the powers, you add the powers. When you times the powers, you add the powers. When you divide the powers, you minus the powers. When you divide the powers, you minus the powers. Does this help? So, two to power four. No. Very good. Well done, guys. Very good, Tom. Here we are, miss. There's oh, my work. Oh, fantastic. Can't I mean, believe you gate crashed my math class. I did. Thank you very much. That was actually pretty traumatic. I had sweaty palms. Did you? How are the group doing? Are they OK? Yeah, they're doing well. The pressure will notch up a bit now, now that we're yeah. into the actual contest. How do you think they'll deal with that? Some of them are really confident. Others of them are confident on the outside, but mm. inside they're in inner turmoil. I mean, they're teenagers. Yeah. And teenagers today, you know, anxiety, body confidence imaging, all massive parts of being a teenager and I think all of the ones in the choir will really want to be more confident. All right, let's let's go and see how they do. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm excited to see Bullmush because they're so fun and young and exuberant but the challenge with them is that they don't have all the emotional experience and maturity of all the adult groups that they're up against. That's going to be very difficult for them. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Why don't we start by you singing to me and I'll see what we've got. I think I've given them a gift of a song. It's called Wings by Little Mix, and it's about growing up. It's about standing on your own two feet, being yourself in the, in the face of naysayers. And I think that's a song that they can connect with and, and pour their hearts into. And they can detain you. These wings are made to fly. Is that as far as you've got? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Lots and lots of good ideas there. Well done. Do you want to sit down, actually? Really what I want to see is a commitment to the meaning of the song from every single person and thinking about it as you're singing. And it's not just about getting meaning across to the audience, it's about how you communicate it between yourselves and how comfortable you feel singing emotionally in front of each other. I mean, what do you think? When I sing, I normally sing to enjoy it. I don't think about emoting when I'm singing. When I listen to it, I think about emotions. When I'm doing it, I don't. <laughs> OK. I mean, it slightly comes across. Yeah. How about you, Emily? You've got the solo there. Try to, but I think a lot of it is just kind of performing. Is anyone thinking about what it means? Abhishek, what, what are you thinking about? Lunch? <laughs> <laughs> 
Not sure. Not even sure. I told them why I picked the song when I last saw them. I said, it's about the, the beginning of your life and your future and all of that. And so I think they feel that that box has been ticked. But that's not really what, what it means to sing a song, I don't think. You, you have to know each single individual phrase why you're singing it. And, and that has to be at the forefront of your mind. I just don't want them to turn out boring performances. <laughs> so what goes on at home when you get told off? What's it like? <laughs> scary. Show me scary. One, two, three, and. Mama told me not to. Uh, tell me off. Don't like sing. She tell me off. Yeah, right, that's great. But suddenly, from lots of you, the energy is going in one direction and it's clear. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, rather than ooh, 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 shifty eyes, ooh, 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 what am I singing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the difference between the angry time that you did it there and the time you first sang it is enormous. And it shouldn't be frightening. You know, putting your heart and soul into a song is, is good for you and nothing to be afraid of. You're doing the solo, um, and you did the solo last time. You're, the, you're doing the arranging. Can you stay behind? The rest of you, class dismissed. You may leave. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Yes, thank you. Katie admitted that she never thinks about the words at all. She just likes singing. That's level one. The next stage is for them to actually think about what they're doing. It's not such a frightening thing once you embrace it, but I think it is frightening when you're 16. Right now, it's kind of a lot to do all at once, like learning it and trying to remember the words and trying to connect it to how you feel is quite a lot when I'm just trying to like remember what note comes next. Does what I said make sense to you about how you perform the song? I used to be bullied and I think everyone's been bullied in their life. And there's always people that say, you know, don't worry about what they say, be yourself, things like that. I think that's how I feel the song relates back to me. I can totally relate to that. I, I found, I think, I found being sort of 14 to 16 quite difficult, but once I was into sixth form and I started to find musical things that I could, could enjoy and express myself through, then I, life got a bit easier. I had two friends at school and we were like best friends and they split off. Sorry, makes me sad. They split off with different people. And I was kind of on my own. It's a hard time of life. I, I'm, as you're talking, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just awful. I mean, it's a long time ago for me now, um, but I remember it like it was yesterday. It's horrible at the time, but it does, it does get better. Yeah. Um, just get the group to have a, have a discussion about each bit, what each line means to people, and then, bam, go for it. I feel like I'm looking at my teenage years from a very, a, a great distance. It's a difficult time of life and you're very inhibited and you're very uh, unsure of yourself and they've got big life decisions hanging over them and that's what the song's about. It's a lot for them to contend with. As well as carefully selecting their song, Gareth has chosen a poignant date for the choir to perform their last day at Bullmarsh. It's kind of like a big send-off. This is our last kind of choir performance with all the people in it now mm -hmm. that will do. So to do it at school was absolutely fab. Yeah, and it's going to be really special after seven years and to do it in front of all our t teachers mm -hmm. and students. It's going to be nerve-wracking, but I'm excited to leave school this way. Mama told me not to waste my life. There are seven days to go. I think we've got a lot of work to do going forwards. We knew we did. We're up for that challenge. I think um, we've got to work on tuning and getting the emotion of the song across. While the choir is working on bringing meaning and emotion to their song, classically trained pianist Warren has the job of working out the accompaniment. Most rehearsals, she's always asking me to play something, to just put something together in the space of five minutes, like I'm able to do something like that magically, which I'm not. <laughs> He's never heard that before. <laughs> so just give him a second. He's a talented musician, but Warren's not known for his reliability. 
The others get frustrated with him because it's a little bit unpredictable sometimes. Um, however, I always feel quite confident that he's going to turn up and going to perform and do what we need him to do. If you don't have your eye on him, like, all day, he will disappear if you look away for a second. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> where's Warren? It's a bit of a phase, isn't it? Like, where's Wally? <laughs> <laughs> just need to practice it. OK, Because it's just bits and pieces that I just thought about. And that's what you're going to do with the ending? Yeah. Fine, you got time to do that by tomorrow? Yeah. I, I don't feel too stressed. I feel too, I feel a little bit relaxed, not as not like some others. I'm just trying to get this finished. If it was no good, then it would be annoying. <laughs> but he's good, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. I thought I might go and have a little chat with Warren because it's not unusual to have unreliable or unpredictable members of a choir, but um, the others are relying on him, so I think I need to G him up a bit. Are you an it'll be all right on the night sort of person? Yeah. Oh, that and I mean, if I just asked you to play, like, just improvise on Happy Birthday or something like that, could you just do that? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> So you can do that? Yeah. And just like that? And that's no effort? Yeah. This is a, like, a talent that people would kill to have. I would say so. Yeah. How is your commitment being to the...? They want to kill me sometimes. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you are the bedrock on which everything sits. Yeah, on, yeah. yeah. What I would always say to people is that it's about trust, it's about being reliable and dependable for rehearsal. Like, rehearsals are massively important. Go, go and knuckle down. Yeah. All right, thanks. See you, see you later. See you now. There is a danger that he won't pull it off. Things haven't gone disastrously wrong for him ever because he just sort of can fumble his way out of it because he's got natural talent. But there's a time when that runs out, and I hope it's not on Wednesday. <laughs> Although many of the sixth formers have finished their exams, the competition means they can only partially relax. After today, it'll be only two days until we're performing to everyone, so it's kind of nerve-wracking, but I think that we're going to have it down by then. Yeah, two days until our big performance. The whole auditorium will be full, so there'll be a lot of people here to watch. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I think everyone will like it, and we've made a lot of progress with what we've done, so I think we'll be ready. <laughs> It's the biggest thing we've ever done. Like, it's really exciting, but it's so nerve-wracking as well. Going up! Yeah! 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 There are two days to go, and this will be the last performance before they go up against the adults in the contest. We've put a lot of work into connecting with the lyrics. I think some of them are doing it by being taught to do it. Others are probably feeling it a little bit more than others. Being young is a disadvantage for two reasons. One is lacking the emotional maturity to connect with the song. And the other is confidence. And that's my next task. No matter what you say, it won't hurt me. Don't matter if I fall from the sky. These wings are made to fly. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Great. How, are you nervous? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are missing... Where's Warren on the keys? In France. In France? <laughs> He's coming back. We're expecting him at some point today, hopefully. <laughs> All right, OK, well, let's move on with or without Warren. The major thing for me, as you go forward into the contest and you're going up against groups that are much older and much more experienced, is that everyone has to be on the same level of confidence about standing on stage and being yourself and singing the song. So um, I want to take you out of school and issue you with a challenge, a performing challenge. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Road trip. I think a lot of people join choirs because they think, oh, well, I'm not doing a solo. I'll just be in the background and no one will notice me. But when there's only 15 of you, everyone is important. Everyone's noticed. Everybody's got to be confident. <laughs> Hey, 
right here, now, we have no audience whatsoever. And I'd like to see if you, collectively, can create an audience on your own from nothing. And this is the challenge part. I would like you each to sing something on your own. It's shrugging off the sort of bashfulness that you have at school and singing like adults. Should we try it? Yeah. Yes? Yes. yes? Right, come on then. Welcome. This is the Bullmarsh Ensemble and this is pretty impromptu. They're going to busk for you. Look, you've got two claps already. Are you superb? Had a choice. It's much we passed the breaking point. Well, I don't know the words. Oh, do you want to? Do you want to get the words? Get the words on your phone. Don't worry. Why don't we get the words on my phone? Adam, don't worry about it. It's all right. It's all right. What? Ready? Yes. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to rock the boat and make a mess. So I sit quietly and agree politely. I guess that I forgot I had a choice. Let you push me past the breaking point. I stood for nothing, so I fell for everything. Do you all hate me now, or...? <laughs> I enjoyed it, yeah, yeah. You, you enjoyed it? Yeah. When you start to kind of look up and connect and be in the song, I feel like I'm watching a singer. And as soon as you start thinking, I don't sound good, I'm watching someone who's terrified. And you've got a choice. Are you going to be frightened, or are you going to be brave? When you're in the choir, like when we're in our semicircle, you have the comfort blanket kind of thing. And when you have to stand out of that, it's kind of a bit disorientating. I'm just like, OK, I'm by myself now. I feel like I've done my bit and I've questioned their lack of confidence and I've made them think about it and I've challenged them here today. And hopefully the penny will start to drop and they'll just go for it. But frankly, only on Wednesday will I actually know whether it's worked. It's the day of the big performance, and for the sixth formers, their last day at school. The choir has been such a big part of our experience in school that actually being able to sing on the last day with the choir is a great thing to see. It's like a final hurrah. <laughs> we thought it's only fair to give them most likely to cause a stunned silence with their amazing arrangements. <laughs> That's Abby. <laughs> emotional because we are a very tight group I think with a lot of us leaving we don't want to say goodbye so we're holding holding on for as long as we can oh, that's amazing guys thank you very much I am sad to see these guys go and it will be difficult coming back in September without them this afternoon is a really good opportunity for the choir to show Gareth and that they're all their teachers and their peers that they are good enough to be in this competition and that they deserve to be in the last four. <laughs> Where's Warren? Well, it's going to be weird. <laughs> the choir will be singing for 400 pupils, friends and family members. We just really want them to do well and perform at their best and um, hopefully they haven't got too many nerves. Yeah, I just feel really proud. I can't believe it's my daughter up there singing it. See the whole choir grow from nothing. It, it's just been really exciting and you feel part of the journey with them. I think I would have preferred a little bit longer with Warren. I'm still not convinced that the choir are entirely happy with this piano playing. I'm just hoping they can pull it out of the bag. Here 
Saturday on this, the very last day of school. <laughs> Loosen your school ties, throw your blazers in the air for the Bullmarsh Ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> Performing with people I love so much is just absolutely amazing. Proud? Very proud. Very proud. Good, I'm sure. Very proud. She's learnt to smile when she sings. <laughs> You've got to smile. Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they kind of just grew a Grew, of yeah, you could see that kind of, oh, yeah, we've really done this. So, yeah, they loved it. We all enjoyed it. We all had an amazing time on that stage today. And for these last few weeks, just it just sums it up. <laughs> I thought that was great. That was a big leap in confidence. They looked like adults on that stage. It was much, much better. Really like, emotional and invested. How do you think the points went? Go! Three. Three. 